Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Check it out. I order tons of different things to do reviews. I have a nice uh, garden in my backyard, but it's always a pain to have to get up every morning and water it. So um, there's tons of different solutions out there. I went with uh, Thirsty Earth, so I just want to show it to you and then I'm going to install it in my backyard and show you the final product. So it is called Thirsty Earth. Unfortunately, I don't have any, uh, I don't think I have any referral or any type of referral link or anything like that. It's just, you know, buy this out of my own pocket. And uh, I got like the 8 P or I'm sorry, it looks like I got the uh, 12 cup set. I thought I only got the 8 cup set, but it looks like I got the 12, but I could be mistaken. So it comes with the tubing. It comes with... All the water connections, so you have a bunch of tubing, all your water connections to connect to each one, um, which you'll understand in a second because there's uh, this other box in here and this big container uh, right here. So this container, the lid was a pain to open, like a pain. Inside the container is a ton of these clay pots that are nice and padded because you don't want them to get damaged. But I'll pull one out. So Thirsty Earth, what it is, is you have the bucket that you fill the bucket, the bucket feeds down into these, and you can see each one of these holds a good amount of water. You put this in the, the dirt with the, the hose going to it and basically it'll slowly leak, the clay will slowly like leak water around it creating the moisture in that so then now you've got all that water for whatever plants that are near it. So I have a ton of these as you can see. I'm going to pull them out of the container. Um, that has that box has four of them in it and then in here one two and there's the I think it's eight one two three four five six seven eight yeah so what I really like about this is this so you have the container this connects to the small hosing, which connects to those um, ceramic pots. Then this is the fill. The fill is cool because you can hook a hose to it. Any type of hose you can hook to it. If you look, this will shut off to stop water from coming in. So if you have your hose, you can hook your like hose and turn your faucet on and just leave it. And this will cut the water off when it's, when it's full. As soon as it gets empty enough, the water would come back in. I have a 50-gallon um, rain collector that goes off of my gutter that I'm going to connect to this so that way I'm using the rain more than anything into this. And then I can just lift the lid every so often and check to see if there's still water in it. If there isn't, then I can use my actual hose and hook it up. So that's that's my plan. Is kind of I might do a, a T connection, a T connection off for of this down the road, so I can have both the rainwater as well as my regular hose. That way, if you know rainwater fills it, and then I can just turn the hose on whenever to uh, fill it the rest of the way. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this up outside and uh, show you what it looks like. So you have thirsty earth on off, and then I've got 12 of those throughout the entire garden. All my raspberries still growing. Some of them are ready to pick. Some of them are ready to pick. But there's tons we've already picked off of. Like you can see there's tons of them. And then over here, hard to see, but I have the 50 gallon rain barrel. Then it has its own hose. But the connection to the barrel from the barrel to it, you can connect your hose to this, you can connect whatever, but it comes with these adapters 
So you can connect it to your hose end and then you connect it to the bucket on the other side, which I'll show you. Obviously the raspberry bush is trying to grow everywhere. I've been uh, trying to get it to go up to the deck instead of and along the fencing. But you can see the connection there into that. It fills that up and then, so I have constantly full water so I don't have to water this area at all. Just have to water the yard and then my tree. But uh, so far I've absolutely loved the thirsty earth. It's worth it. I think it's worth the money to do that. And um, tell me what you think. And what do you think of my garden? And uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you're not out already. And uh, I'm trying to do more reviews of random different stuff that you might like. So far, Thirsty Earth, I think it's absolutely worth it. Um, the price is worth it too. It's not expensive, but it's not cheap. So it's kind of in that middle ground, but it's definitely inexpensive compared to uh, other watering systems. Um, I do know that in the winter, I'm gonna need to pull this out because it does get below freezing here. It does get to freezing, so. I'll just like put some pop bottles in its place when I pull them out and uh, just disconnect everything and then just plug it all back in in the uh, summer. So uh, yeah, it's going to be great. And uh, again, like and subscribe and uh, check out whatever other videos YouTube recommends to you. And uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.